This is ZNS Total Sports. Good evening, Bahamas. Welcome to sports. I'm Jared Higgs. The first ever Urban Games held today at the old Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. The event brought together young people from urban renewal centers from across New Providence for a day of competitive athletics. Hundreds of young people, mostly from inner city communities, converge on the old stadium to show which neighborhood has the fastest and best athletes. Minister of National Security and Acting Prime Minister, the Honorable Burden Nottage, opened the games to a resounding crowd. But it is a tremendous success already from all of these beautiful young children on a Saturday morning with adult supervisors doing something productive together competing, collaborating, and behaving. Give them a big round of applause. The event, dubbed the Love Games, featured representatives from various urban renewal centers competing in different track events. The urban renewal band put on a great show for the crowd, and so did the Defense Force Rangers. The event sponsor was the Bahamas Telecommunications Company. Staying on the track, the North Andrews High School Track and Field Championships is underway. Our Julian Gibson is in the big yard covering the competition. Jared, these are the faces for the future Golden Girls and Golden Girls for the 242. Well, let's start with the 400 meters under 16 girls. Naisha Rule, she would capture the goal for North Andrews. I had to get off this curve, relax the back stretch, and just go when I reached 200. How was the competition out there? It was. The competition was very stiff, and the girls did an excellent job. Let's move to the under-16 boys, 400 meters. How about Deshaun Joseph from North Andrus? He would win the gold medal. Well, well, I kept my mind optimistic on winning the race. I, I tried to maintain focus, especially coming up right on the straight. I made sure that I got off with enough speed in order for me the drive coming on to the finish line. How was the competition? It was very good. I really I really was happy what I did. I my competitors they like, they did well as also. Under 18 girls 400 meters. Melissa Farrington from North Andrus. Boy she can rule. She came home ruling for a first place finish. Um it was alright. <sighs> Very bit tired. How was the competition out there? Um, I know I got a big game, so <laughs> it ain't even... So it's easy? Yes, sir. But they didn't push you? No, sir. Under 18 boys, from North Andrews, RR, Ricardo Russell, boy, he can run. He won the gold medal for North Andrews. It was good. I had to pace myself on the box stretch and finish hard coming home. How was the competition out there? It was good. Only my other partner, McGill, he did well. Under 20 girls, 400 meters, stopping the domination from Mangrove Key was Kendra King. She put an end to North Andrews, running away with the 400 meters. She won the under 20 girls, 400 meters from Mangrove Key. It was good, it was hard, no. I was like, oh my God, Woo! But I had to come and do what I did last year and the year before to get five gold medals. How was the competition out there? It was nice and hard, but I had to do the best I could. And the final 400 meters, boys under 20, Glenroy Newton from North Andrus, he would win the gold. Me and him was hard, right? But then I stuck it out through all the practice I had. How was the competition out there? Me and it was. It was hard, but it was good. But I still won. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. Keeping with track and field, Queens College won their second consecutive BAISS championship on Friday afternoon. The Comets amassed a grand total of 1,477 points. St. Augustine's College Big Red Machine were second with 1,365. And the St. John's Giants rounded out the top three with 411 and a half points. The New Providence Volleyball Association crowning a champion last night as the National Fence Intruders defeated the Scotiabank Defenders in straight sets, 25 to 14, 25 to 18, and 25 to 19. Prince Wilson of the Intruders says his team executed from start to finish, stifling the defenders' confidence. He stressed that passing was key, and ultimately they did an excellent job sharing the ball. Wilson also commended the Scotia Defenders Club for playing their hearts out, especially after the tragic passing of the club's founder, Devin Smith. 
in December of last year. The New Providence Basketball Association hosted its all-star game last night and the event featured a dunk competition, a three-point contest, and a skills challenge. The evening got started with the individual competitions. Winning the skills challenge was Kamal Murphy of the Real Deal Shockers. Quinton Demerit was the three-point champion. He represents the Commonwealth Bank Giants. And COB's Brian Jennings dunked everybody's head off. He's this year's dunk champion. In the all-star game, it was the Vince Ferguson division taking on the John Archer division. It was a close one throughout and ended up going going to overtime with the Vince Ferguson division barely edging out John Archer by one point, 128 to 127. That's all the time we have for sports. Once again, love your neighbors. I'm Jared Higgs, your weather forecast still to come.